Hey campers, welcome to the week of Wild and Wonderful. I'm Miss Brooke and today we're going to make water bottle spirals. What you need for this craft is a water bottle, sharpies of different colors, scissors, and glitter glue if you have any. But first I want to talk to you about something important, colors. Have you ever thought about the value of color? Not just the basic Roy G. Biff colors, but all the different hues of colors. What do those colors mean to you? Even though they are all different, they can all mean something very special to a person. For example, the color green reminds me of the mountains in West Virginia. And when I'm away from West Virginia, like how I am now, when I see green, I think of West Virginia and it brings back happiness and memories of laughter and friends. Today in our craft, I want you to use as many colors as possible. And when you're drawing your colors onto your water bottle, think of what each color means to you. And once you're done, take a moment to really look at your creation and appreciate all the different colors that have come together to contribute to something beautiful. Now, the first step of our craft is to cut the bottom of your water bottle off. And then you're gonna take the cap and label off. And then you can start coloring. Once you've colored your water bottle, take your scissors and start cutting at the bottom upwards while twisting your water bottle because that's going to create the spirals. And don't stop until you reach the top of the water bottle right before it starts going inwards. If you have the supplies, make as many water bottle spirals as possible because at the end we're going to do something really cool with all of them. For my next water bottle spiral, I'm going to use glitter glue, which actually works really well. But if you use glitter glue too, make sure you put down a piece of paper because it can get sticky if you get it on the table. And also, I just want to point out that you should be using Sharpies instead of just regular markers because the markers and the plastic of the water bottle, it can get really smudgy. And Sharpies, they just look better and they last longer. Now that I have all my water bottles ready, I just wanted to share a quick observation. The ones with that have the thicker spirals, I cut less of. They don't seem to hang as long as the ones that have a lot more spirals that are a lot thinner. These ones hang a lot. So take that into consideration for how you want your spirals to look. So now that I have all of them, I'm going to get a stick from my backyard. It doesn't have to be big it just needs to be a plain one stick and I'm going to loop my water bottles onto the stick try getting the water bottle into the water bottle of the next one to save some space and then once they're all done I'm gonna get some string and I'm gonna tie it to both ends of the stick so that it can hang from anywhere I want it to and this is what it should look like I hope you all had fun making water bottle spirals. I'll see you next week.